UX questions. Your user experience questions answered in three minutes or less. George from San Francisco, California asks, is a career in UX right for me? I love that question. Thanks for asking, George. This is UX question number 15, and I'm Ben Judy. <laughs> is a career in UX right for me? Well, choosing to commit to a career field long term is a tough decision. You're trying to look down the corridor of time and, and determine if you want to do the same kind of work for decades. No exact formula exists for making this decision, but I'll tell you how I arrived at my career decision, and I'll give you some factors to consider. I did not start my career path in UX. Uh, when I went to college at age 18, I went for a bachelor's degree in broadcasting. I was certain I wanted to pursue a career in radio, TV, and film production, but a funny thing happened along the way. See, I had also been interested in the World Wide Web, and I taught myself HTML and started building websites when I was in high school. It hadn't occurred to me that I could have a career doing this, but I got a job making websites for a software company even while I was a sophomore in college. That led to a realization that it might actually be easier to get a job doing web design than to get a job in media production, and that led me to a job at Travelocity.com, where I encountered a multidisciplinary UX team, and I knew I wanted to do this UX thing. So ask yourself, are you already doing some aspect of UX work or something UX adjacent and enjoying it, even as a hobby? All it took for me was a slight pivot from my hobby in web design into a career in UX. Are you doing some kind of research that involves studying how people behave? Do you like to design things? Do you kind of like digital technology, but you're even more interested in making the human experience better? Are you frustrated by bad user experiences and you want to do something about it? Sometimes great careers begin from a divine discontent, a place of frustration that the world is not as it should be. Do you like solving problems for people that involve human-computer interaction driven by human empathy? If so, UX design might be for you. If you like to make money, go into business. If you like solving problems, but you want to take people out of the equation, go into technology. If the intersection of business and systems and tech and people is where you want to work, pursue UX. And if you just like to shout nonsense into the void, start a YouTube channel or a podcast. Hey, it's Ben Judy. Thanks for joining me for another episode of UX Questions. UX Questions is produced as a video series for YouTube and as an audio podcast. If you want to submit a question, I would love to answer it. Just go to uxquestions.com, type in your question, and submit the form. You can also leave a comment on the latest episode on YouTube. I do read your comments. You can listen to the podcast via Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Casts, or wherever you prefer to find your podcasts. Full text transcripts of each episode can also be found on the website at uxquestions.com. You can help spread the word about this show by clicking the share, like, and subscribe buttons on any YouTube video, sharing links to the podcast with your friends, and giving a five-star rating and a review. I also invite you to support UX Questions on Patreon. You can earn different perks at each level of support, and I really appreciate your Patreon subscription. For the price of a cup of coffee or two each month, you can become part of the UX Questions community and make it possible for me to keep answering more of your questions. Visit patreon.com slash uxquestions for all the details. I'm now offering sponsorships and personal messages. Want to promote your brand, your product, or yourself to the UX Questions audience? I offer a variety of options from a short mention in a single episode all the way up to multi-channel long-term sponsorship opportunities. Visit uxquestions.com for details. If I've learned one thing about user experience over the course of my career, it's that there's always something new to learn, some new question to be answered. So keep those questions coming in and keep checking UX questions. Your UX questions answered in three minutes or less. <laughs>